Good morning, sweet nugget. You're invited to breakfast because I'm doing a full day of eating for fat loss. I'm showing you all the tasty new recipes and meals that I'm eating to get lean, but not mean. And I'm starting with something super new and beautiful for breakfast, banana split French toast. Whoa. Let's make this. So I got one large egg. I'm gonna put in a third cup of egg whites. I've got a teaspoon of vanilla extract going in. Whoops, a little more than a teaspoon. A teaspoon of sweetener mixed with a pinch of cinnamon going in. We need our huddle protein powder. This is HTLT steps. I'm using strawberry cheesecake because I think that's gonna taste really good in the banana split. Half a scoop, code Nicole to save yourself 10%. So half a scoop of that. Give this a whisk together. I have a pan heating on medium heat that's been sprayed with cooking spray. And I'm gonna be using frozen bread because I feel like it holds together better when you soak it. So this is the Dempster's whole wheat. And I've got my two bread there. So it makes a really nice thick looking, I call it a batter. I'm gonna soak my bread. I just like to put it in and flip it over and then I throw the other one in underneath. Get it working. Get your, get in there with your hands and just smink it around. Just be real cute with it. So we'll just let that sit and soak. And I'm gonna show you the toppings and stuff that we're gonna do. Monster hands. So I've got a quarter cup of frozen banana slices that I have thawed out. A quarter cup of sliced fresh straws. I'm gonna be using one of these cherries that I have thawed as like a topping. And then I've got some rainbow sprinkles. I'm gonna be using a little bit of these. Some plain Greek yogurt. This is a quarter cup of the Kirkland fat-free plain Greek yogurt. This is gonna go on top as well. And I'm gonna mix it with some vanilla fat-free, it's also sugar-free pudding mix. An eighth of a teaspoon. There you go, sweetheart. Mix that baby in there so she's cute like vanilla on a lovely spring day. Is anyone skin crawling from her scraping her mug with a spoon? Ugh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna give them one more little flip and then put them in. Little flip, little flip. Put that one in there and anything left over I'm just gonna spoon on top. It does soak in when it cooks. So there we go. I'm gonna leave that for like three to four minutes until set and then flip it and do one to two on that side till it's golden. Ready for flipping. Ooh. Yeah, they're looking real cute. Puffy. Oh yeah, I love how they puff up after. So now we're just gonna let them cook until they're set and all the egg whites is cooked and everything and then we're gonna top them and make them real sweet and just in your belly. <laughs> I wanna show the friends my trick. So I love crisping up the edges, so I do this, I stand it up and then I cook it like this until it's cute, and then I flip it, and I make sure the egg whites get all cuted up on all the sides. <laughs> and Sassy looks at me like, what are you doing? Making stuff cute. <laughs> there you go, tricks. <laughs> okay, it has cooked, it is ready to go. First, I'm going to Top it with the bananas. I'm just gonna kind of throw them all over the place real sweet like this. However you like your cute fruit. There we go. And then I'm gonna top it with the Greek yolk. Oh, like so. Nice. Some chef action. Yeah, like some cute chef. Always gotta be cute. Whoa. I'm gonna take a um, teaspoon of this this is Nesquik Less Sugar Chocolate Milk Lake Syrup. I can't find low calorie syrup in Canada, so I use this. And I'm gonna do a teaspoon, but for cute action, like I'm gonna eyeball it, but like, it's a teaspoon. Oh yeah, cause you gotta get that cute, honey. Oh, yeah. And then, a little je ne sais quoi, we're gonna do a eighth teaspoon of rainbow sprinks, cause this is banana split French toast, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Top it with a cherry. Whoa, I made a, a masterpiece! 
All right, I'm gonna do a taste test for you and then I'll give you the cows. I'm gonna be enjoying this French toast with a large black cup of coffee and a bottle of water. And then I'm gonna go do some cardio, an hour of cardio cute ones. I'm gonna use this Steve's Maples now that we got a cute picture. This is the Steve's Maples low cal pancake syrup. And I'm just gonna use a tablespoon. Give it a little more sweetness. And, oh wow, I don't even know where to start. There's so many cute things here. Okay, how about right, you gotta go right in the middle, right? Right for all the stuff. This, don't forget a straw. Oh, don't, come on, banana. What you doing? Hello? There you go. Okay, got it. Go. That's the perfect bite. Mmm, mmm. <laughs> This is your diet food? This is why I wanted to do this full day of eating. I was craving banana split and fancy breakfast. So I was like, okay, I'll just whip it together. This is why I can stick to what I'm doing, why I'm leaning out. I've lost over eight pounds so far and I love my food. And I wanted to share it with you guys so that you can see that you can love your food too. Okay, so I actually have a surprise. I've lost 10 pounds now on my spring lean out. I weighed in a couple days ago and I started at 157 and I am 157.6 and I am now 147.4. And it's because I've been eating stuff like this that I look forward to what I'm eating. I love what I'm doing and I feel really good and I feel lean and I'm like really excited to wear spring and summer clothes now. So I have lost 130 pounds. I've kept it off for eight years. And in the winter, like December to March, I wanted to bulk and put on some muscle. So I gained some weight. And now I'm trying to lean out, which means lose the fat, but keep the muscle. And I'm actually the leanest I've ever been with the most muscle I've ever had. So this is really cool. It's been working really well. And I'm excited to share all of it with you guys. Okay, so calories for this, the large black coffee with the banana split French toast, 493 cows, and it's gonna fuel my cardio, and then I'll be back for lunch. We're gonna show them the face. Look, I chopped the tree down. See ya. Pretty good. Power. Want to do a little heart to heart, the friends, for those of you that have been following like my spring lean out, this is about two months and three weeks in now. And if you've been following, you know, like I've had a lot of challenges throughout this lean out. This is actually one of the trickiest ones that I've ever done. And I like to do it every year where I put on some muscle and then lean out. And uh, it's been challenging, but it's also been reminding me how strong and resilient I am because I haven't given up. I've pushed through and along the way, if it's something that I can control, I'll look at it and say, okay, how do I fix it? So if you guys are struggling, you're trying to lose weight, you've got a goal that you wanna make, just know that you're stronger than you think you are and you can push through. And along the way, like, Sometimes I did feel like giving up, but I was like, no, I'm doing this for me and also wanna do this for you guys and show you that you can do it and that there's a way to enjoy what you're doing and keep going. And so changing up my meals and anything that I'm craving, like my breakfast, for example, today, if I have a craving, I turn it into something cool that I can include in my diet. And 
like I've shared in a few videos, I noticed I was getting hungrier. I think I pulled back some calories a little too soon, so I recalibrated and I upped my protein in the form of egg whites, and you'll see later where I included that, and that allowed me to up my protein so that I felt more fuller longer without adding a ton of calories and that has really helped so you'll notice my protein intake is a lot higher now and um it was a little scary to increase my calories just a bit um but it was totally worth it and i feel good and actually it's helping i'm noticing like i said i'm leaner and i have more muscle so trust yourself and your body and go slow i wanted to rush this i forgot about slow and steady wins the race but it's it's one step at a time and there's like this favorite quote that i i like to share with you guys sometimes like focus on the step in front of you not the whole staircase it's one step at a time and find things that really, that you love, that you look forward to do so that it doesn't feel like you're dieting or forcing yourself to meet a goal. It's like part of your life and part of your journey that you look forward to doing every day. Card is done, I got ready, and now it's time for lunch, cuties. This is what my lunch is. Half a cup of the Greek yogurt that I showed you earlier, the plain from Costco, half a cup of fresh sliced straws, one of these lean turkey pepperonis. Show you guys these often because they're my favorite. They're from Costco. They really don't taste like turkey. They're super good, 50 cals. And half a cup of sliced cukes. And I already drank a bottle of water. I'm gonna have one more. And this is kind of silly, but I'm showing it to you anyway. This is leftover from yesterday. This cherry limeade. Oh, I think that there. Cherry limeade sparkling ice and so I'm just gonna drink it with my thingy my lunch and this is 150 calories this lunch I like to keep my cows low at lunch because I'm always really hungry in the morning and really hungry at dinner time so I prefer to put the majority of my calories at those times and then do like a lighter lunch and it actually works perfect because I do my cardio in the morning so I do need more food to fuel and I often do my weight training at night after dinner so it makes more sense to have more cows there too. Dinner is served. I got three ounces of baby carrots with half a tablespoon of ranch dressing, and this is the regular Hidden Valley. And then I have a low calorie meatball pizza. I put it in the air fryer to cook it for five minutes at 390. I'm using one of these Dempster's Ancient Grains tortillas, and then leftover lean Italian meatballs. So I used four of them and I cut them in half to make eight little meatballs. And we have two tablespoons of pasta sauce. This is just a regular pasta sauce from Costco. And we've got salt and pepper and 30 grams of mozzarella cheese and it's Costco brand cheese. And then I'm gonna top it with a teaspoon of this calorie wise barbecue sauce. So I'll do that. And, and I always like to finely shred my cheese because it, I feel like it melts really, like really nicely. And it always makes me feel like I'm eating, mm, makes me feel like I'm eating more. And then I'm gonna do a teaspoon of the ranch to top it. And then, like that, and then a dash of this. This is like my favorite sauce. It's the Chipotle and Ancho Great Value Hot Sauce. And I just do a few little binks. And I'm going to have a bottle of water with it. I already had one in the total cows for this whole thing with the carrots and dip and everything. 521 cows. We're gonna manja this and then, that means eat in Italian, and then we're gonna get dessert and you're gonna love dessert. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making s'mores ice cream for dessert with my new Ninja Creamy. Now, I'm making this the day before cause you do have to freeze it for 24 hours and then you'll see the mix in part and the next ice cream part after. Trust me, the 24 hours, it's totally worth it. So, this is what you're gonna need. Cute muffin of cute. Let's do it. Dry ingredients. <laughs> 
For dry ingredients, we need a tablespoon of low calorie sweetener. I'm using the Great Value brand. A pinch of salt, just regular old table salt. Half a teaspoon of vanilla sugar-free, fat-free pudding. This one says fat-free, but it also is sugar-free in Canada. So that's the vanilla one we're using. And then, um, oh, sorry, that's the pudding, half a teaspoon and a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum. And then we need a scoop of protein powder. I'm using S'mores HTLT Sup S'mores Protein Powder. It tastes amazing. Code Nicole to save yourself 10%. You gotta get this one, trust me. And then for the wet ingredients, we need one cup of egg whites. We need a teaspoon of vanilla. And then two thirds of a cup of Fair Life. I'm using the 1%. If you guys can't find 1%, use a mix of 0% and 2%. So a third cup of 0% and a third cup of 2%. And that'll give you a homemade 1%. So we're gonna start with the dry ingredients. I'm gonna put the protein powder, the sweetener, the pudding, the xanthan, and the salt. And we're just gonna give this a sweet old mix through till it's really well combined. Okay, next we have the Ninja Creamy Pint and I'm gonna put in the vanilla, the milk, and then the egg whites. Now I know you guys are saying, Nicole, egg whites, are you serious? Trust me on this guys. Sassy and I have tried many different tests and the egg whites combined with the Fairlife make the creamiest, most ice cream like texture. You won't even know that they're egg whites, trust me. So now that this is all poured in the wet ingredients, this is a milk frother. I just got this at the grocery store, Zayers in Canada. I'm just gonna do a quick little mixeroo. Just start at the bottom and then go all the way to the top up down a couple times just to mix it in a bit and now what I found mixing it in by thirds the dry ingredients is like seems to get me the best texture so I'm gonna go a third at a time of the dry ingredients and I'm gonna blend it for about 30 seconds and I learned if you start a little bit at the top the powder doesn't like spray out. So mix a little bit at the top and you go all the way around, up, down, around the bottom, really blend it in for about 30 seconds before we add the next bit of dry. Okay, now I'll do another third of the dry ingredients in there and do the same process. 30 seconds, really thoroughly mix it. There she goes. And it'll start getting thicker and thicker as you add more dry, and that's what we want. Thick and creamy, sweetie bear. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pour the last third of the dry ingredients in and mix it in for 30. Repeat the same thing, and this time it's gonna be super thick. And that's what you want to see, sweetheart. After it's all mixed up, we're going to go back to the future. After you <laughs> We're going to be traveling in time. What's Who does Back to the Future? Is it Alex Keaton? Alex. Alex P. Keaton? Who's the Back to the Future guy? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know. Is it Alex? You made my brain melt. Michael J. Fox? Alex, he, he plays... <laughs> it's a... I uh, just got what I did there. Yeah. We'll, we'll leave that alone. We'll just move on. Just mix your ice cream. I'm better at making ice cream. Oh, it's Michael J. Fox. I, I totally just got what you I did. You broke my brain. It, I, I broke my own. <laughs> So once it's been mixed, all the dry ingredients, you want to blend it for another 60 to 90 seconds until it's just really thick looking and everything is smooth. There's no lumps and it's like ready for creaming. <laughs> <laughs> Michael P. Keaton likes it that way. No, what's his name? Michael I P. <laughs> Michael P. Creaming. Oh my God. Michael P. Creaming. I gotta stop talking. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so um, we're gonna open up a protein ice cream shop, Mike Michael P. Cream. 
I just invented. Oh, Michael like, B. Creamin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd high five you if you weren't holding the camera. So yes. Good. Okay, so this is what. <laughs> Michael B. Creamin. <laughs> But we need to add Michael B. Cream in the jeans because you, you love cream so much. It's fine. I don't know what you're talking about. Look at this. Um, so when it's done, there's always a little bit on the frother. I don't know. I do this for fun. I just like I'll pull spink back the it. camera. I just do a little spink. Like that means I just run the milk frother until it all comes off. <laughs> and then we're going to cover it up and put it in the freezer for 24 hours and like on a flat surface in your freezer so that it's not like off kilter. And then when we come back um, from the future or to the future, from the past, from the the past the oh my gosh, my brain is messed up with this. Um, I'm gonna show you the ice cream part and the mix-in stuff. What you'll need for mix-ins in case you're wondering, we're gonna need some graham crackers, some mini marshmallows and some mini chocolate chips. And I'll give you the amounts when we actually do the mix in. So, in the freezer you go. Okay, the base has been in the freezer for 24 hours now. So I pulled it out. I have 40 seconds on the microwave timer and I'm gonna run this under warm water for 40 seconds to loosen it from the sides so that it blends in much easier in the creamy. And I just make sure that it hits all the sides, turn it around, there she is, you can hear it separating, she's gonna be good. Then you dry off the pint, take the lid off, that's what it looks like, and then you put it into the thingy, put on the lid, and then we're gonna put it in the creamy, lock it, and then we're going to select the ice cream setting. Okay, once it finishes the ice cream setting, you have to unload it. And I don't know why, but then you just put it right back in, lock it in and select respin. Okay, once it finishes the respin, you're gonna take it off and we're gonna get ready for mix-ins. So I'm gonna take the lid off. And then it looks powdery at first, but that's okay, that's normal. The mix-in is going to fix that. So I just like to put a butter knife in the middle and make a hole so that I can put my mix-ins in. Okay, so my mix-ins, I have a quarter of a sheet of graham crackers crushed up, a teaspoon of mini chocolate chips, and an eighth cup of mini marshmallows. Uh, what I'm going to do is reserve some of this, the mix-ins for the top, but you just basically push the mix-ins down to the bottom. And like so. Like that. Okay. Cover it up. And we're going to put it back in. And last step, select the mix-in function. Okay, once that's done, you're gonna take it out for the last time. Take off the lid. Oh yeah, she's looking cute. Pull it out of the creamy. Put my marshies. And we'll just put our sweet little meat in there. Wow! So, look at how cute that is, the friend. Now we're gonna take a little Yamaruni taste test. I'm also gonna be having a Coke Zero caffeine free with this. And this is my beautiful dessert. So let's take a lovely little bite. Look at that, see in there, that beautiful ice cream texture down there? Wow. This is one of my favorite that we've done. Marshmallows in here, on texture wise, are so good. Like, um, like look at that, the friends. Can you believe that that's egg whites, like that looks like real ice cream. And very low fat. Yeah, oh my gosh, it's so good. So the s'mores ice cream, the total for this with the mix-ins and everything, 429 cows. So I'm gonna enjoy this and I will see you in a bit for my last meal of the day, sweethearts.
This is the love meal of the day. The love meal, the love meal, the love meal, the love meal, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, the friends, this is the last meal of the day. Um, Sassy and I have been eating this meal for a few years or more now. It's half a cup of cottage cheese. This is a 2% from Kirkland, like Costco. A teaspoon of low calorie sweetener. This is the great value. And a teaspoon of cocoa powder. This one is the Hershey's Dark. Hershey's has like the best unsweetened cocoa powder. And a tablespoon of peanut butter, and this is the Kraft Smooth. And this meal is 217 calories, and I love eating it a couple of hours before bed because it fills my belly and it helps me sleep, I find, because it's a really good slow digesting protein, the cottage cheese. Code Nicole to save yourself 10% if you wanna buy my weight loss eBooks. My newest one is Leaner Not Meaner. It's exact meals exercise, weight training. It's basically like spending a month with me, like living, being a fly on the wall. You get to see the, the book has all my meals, my boost, which means like when I give myself a little more calories, like boost recipes, normal recipes, weight training, cardio, everything, it's all in there. Um, and again, code Nicole to save yourself 10%, leaner, not meaner. Check it out, link is down there. The calories for the day, 1,810, 50 grams of fat, 160 grams of carbs, and 167 grams of protein. And that is, I feel so much better with that protein amount, and uh, it's making me feel great. I don't feel starving all the time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I look forward to every single meal. Um, especially now that we have the creamy, like it feels like I'm eating real ice cream. I feel so satisfied and I'm really proud of myself how far I've come. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll catch you in the next vid, cutie. If you like this vid, if you enjoyed it, give it your from V up to help out the old Ilgo. You know what that is. I'll catch ya. <laughs> catch ya. Peace. Love ya. I'm out, cuties. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.